Yo, 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 Michael T. Porter here. Welcome to Rooted in Music TV, where everything that we talk about, everything that we discuss is rooted in music. I got another bomb episode for y'all, but before I begin, y'all hit that like button, that subscribe button, that share button. Pass me around, pass me around Facebook, Instagram, and all other social media platforms, and y'all know how I feel about my chizzing. If you guys like to support the channel, Cash App, Dollar Sign, Mike US. Also, check out my website, 250gemstones.com.co. Yeah, Puff is at it again. Puff is in these streets. Puff is in the news again. It's being alleged. It's being chirps. It's being some whispers that he was the one who set off Kamora Lee's house to be burned down to the ground. He was the one that tried to burn down Kamora Lee inside her damn house. I'm going to play this video for y'all and I'm going to be right back with you to give you my opinion. Yeah, let's go. Lee Simmons house it's only so everything is alleged some it's not and the fair act use is in my description box y'all so let's get to it y'all let's get to it um y'all a lot of people's pointing the fingers at puffy right now because Kamora Lee Simmons house just you know mysteriously was set on fire okay y'all Mysteriously. And they're not releasing too much information to the public as to why this happened. Maybe they have to do an investigation or something like that. But they're not saying too much. But um, people are coming up with the fact that um, recordings just Kamora Kimo knows a lot, y'all. She knows so much when it comes down to Puffy and this inner circle. Mm -hmm. Um, she, not only does she know got dirt on Puffy, but she got dirt on her ex husband too. Okay, cause he ran in the same circle as Puffy. Okay, y'all. Now, as far as Puffy doing this himself, I don't think he would do this himself. But would somebody else come to do this for him? Yes, yes. They said that the fire started at her fireplace. Oh, now it could have been an accident. I don't know, but I just find it odd that the timing, y'all. The time and during the time that right now everybody's, you know, digging and talking about, you know, Puffy and all the dirt. That this nigga Puffy is off the mother effing chain. This nigga didn't kill Tupac. Well, allegedly, this nigga been put hits on Suge, Tupac. He didn't slept with his son's uh girlfriend. He didn't did unholy things with Cassie. Now he trying to take out Kamora Lee. Try to run up in fabulous butt. I'm like, oh my God. <laughs> he been doing the people and this and that and that and this. The fact that Kim Porter name is popping up all over the place, um, and, and it could possibly open reopen up a lot of cases of people that didn't pass away in this inner circle. Um, the fact that Kamora knows so much, she could be a target. To be honest, y'all. Not only does she Damn. have dirt on Puffy, but she has a lot of dirt on her husband too. Okay, y'all. And it's it's a lot of new bits today, people out here. That don't mind, to be honest with y'all. Um, now, one thing I'm going to push back on Kamora Lee. How you going to talk about this man, but he made you? How you going to talk about the man, he's a monster, but you spread your legs for the monster? Nobody forced you. You let that grown man run up in you. What kind of mess is this? And where was your mom and your parents at letting you run around with these grown men? Where are your parents at? Sending other people off because it's, I mean, well, sending they self off for the do dirt for other people. Y'all see right now that, you know, yo, God, he got people that's locked up right now that tried to take Dolph out a couple times. Okay, y'all? He got people in there doing time for him right now. So they, they have crash dummies out here that they can send off to do stuff. So crash. as far as Puffy doing it with his own hands, I don't think so. But as far as him, you know, possibly sending somebody to do it, it's a possibility. I mean, if you blow up somebody's car, which the word on the street, they are investigating a lot of stuff right now. But word on the street is, you know, Puffy allegedly blew up somebody's car, Kid Cudi. Okay, just because he thought that he was talking to Cassie. Oh, yeah, Kid Cudi. So if y'all think for one minute that they wouldn't come for Kamora. Damn, Kid Cudi, this dude is high up in the elite. 
in that music industry and the the Mason Illuminati Puff Daddy is high up there. You know what's crazy? A lot of people didn't never believe what well, in the community, black community, we never thought that a black man could be with the Illuminati. We thought, you know, the Illuminati was all white. We thought the Illuminati was all white. They want no nigga up in there bringing his daishiki and his uh, black power uh, mixtapes with the African staff. Mm -mm. We never thought a million years a black man would be accepted in the Illuminati. I'm going to meet y'all on the other side because this this, this, this is getting crazy. I'm going to give you my opinion, play a little bit more, and I'm going to meet y'all on the other side. Lord, have mercy. Aura and Kamara is so close to Kim Porter. Okay, she's so entwined with this whole circle of people and know a lot of dirt on them. Um, I don't I'm, I'm just saying I don't put nothing past them, to be honest with y'all. Seriously, I do not put a thing past Puffy. The only thing that makes me think that it's a possibility he didn't do this is because of the fact that he got a bag on his head word on the street. People want Puffy's life right now because they feel like they can, um, you know, Get away with the stuff they were doing if they take out Puffy right now. Word oh, on the street, yeah. okay? I don't know how true it is, but the word on the street, this is what... It's cutthroat. It's cut. Would y'all like to know my opinion? Would y'all like to know my opinion? Of course you do. That's why your ass is here. I would just like to say, I just think Puff Daddy, P. Diddy, where everyone call calls himself, is the biggest gangster probably in the last 30 years. Probably 40 years. Puff Daddy... Alleged, it's all alleged. Got pocket, right? Let's go, let's go down the list real quick. Got pocket. Got Toop. Got Shug Night Shot. He put hits on uh, Pac and Shug. But he got Pac hit the first time in 94. Hit Pac again in 96. He just, just had a certain disdain for Tupac, right? Then he whacked his own homie Biggie Smalls, his protege, out there in L.A., he sent everybody to the wasteland in L.A. He sent everybody to L.A. to get whacked. Then Sean Poe, another one of his artists, took up for him, defended him in the club, bust that tool, and Sean Poe did 10 years for protecting Diddy, keeping the goons off Diddy ass at a nightclub. And Puffy didn't come to see Sean Poe not one time. Those that don't know Sean Poe, uh... He's in that song, uh, Bad Boys. Diddly, 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 whoa. That's, 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 that, that's Sean Poe. Sean Poe was a goddamn monster. He kind of sound like Biggie, too. His baby mama, Wax, she's, she's gone. She's disappeared, right? Anybody that comes across this man path disappeared. Kim Porter, she out of here. And that's why him and Kamora Lee not seeing eye to eye because they're saying that Kamora Lee... Got some information from Kim Porter about this book they trying to write. Them books are getting people fucked up in these streets, right? <laughs> that is the power of words. That is the power of literature. I don't know who's in more, who's more of a scapegoat, P. Diddy or Donald Trump. Donald Trump and P. Diddy in the same boat. When anything go wrong, they just blame them to, oh, I was late for work. I'm going to blame Pub Daddy. Oh, there's six inches of snow, six inches of more snow than usual. I'll blame Trump. Sky's falling. I blame Puff. I'm behind on my rent. I'll blame Puff. They are getting blamed for everything. This, did this man? If if this if this stuff is true, this man's probably he's bigger. He's a bigger gangster than Master P. P. Diddy is a bigger gangster than 50 Cent. P. Diddy is a bigger gangster than should. Anyone of your top gangsters, Baby Lanes, I don't give a trade D from the East Side, it's OG Crip. He's bigger than Snoop. P. Diddy is the biggest. This man is talking about sleeping with French Montana, singing happy. How many gangsters you know singing happy birthday to another nigga in they robe? How many niggas you know are singing happy birthday to niggas in they robe? Happy birthday to. How many niggas you know offering other niggas to take niggas shopping? We gonna let me. You should let me go take you shopping. Come on, let me let me go take you out, get you some new gear. What? This man, he's gangster because he don't care who it is. It can be of age, underage, gangster. You could be a softy, a soft man. You could be a hardcore gangster. He's coming for that ass. P Diddy is coming for that ass. 
offered to take 50 cent shopping he asked fabulous when you when you gonna hang out with me for fabulous's birthday man when you gonna come party with me he tried to get uh justin bieber's number justin bieber looked so uncomfortable fabulous looks so uncomfortable 50 cent was so uncomfortable the only one that didn't seem to have no problem with it was french montana the only one that seemed didn't have a problem was french montana and then there's alleged that he was blowing out usher's back when usher was little when usher was 12 and 13 and usher was saying there was all type of wild parties going on him and jamie fox having wild parties him and Jamie Foxx, P. Diddy and Jamie Foxx, P. Diddy loved them damn party. Even when I was a child, like, damn, they party a lot. Like, I love music. I don't like party that goddamn much. It's too much shit be going on in parties. But, see, performing and going to parties is a different thing. When you perform, you performing, you performing your song, people pay good money. But an actual party, that's, that's a lot of mingling. Yeah, P. Diddy mingling on your ass. P. Diddy is mingling on your ass from usher to 50 so this man is coming for somebody's button if he don't get his way your ass is coming up missing p diddy will find a way to get your ass removed you can be his baby mama you can be his friend you could be his artist he don't give a damn p diddy is out for himself this lets you know how high this man is up in the illuminati degrees or the Mason, whatever you want to call it, the elites, the people that run the world. This is let you know how high up there this man is. He doesn't man probably up there with the Pope. This man has put a, allegedly, allegedly, he ain't about to, he ain't about to put no hits on me. This man has allegedly done all these things, and he's still out and about. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, this man's up there. I think he has just as much power as the Pope. That this is crazy. This man will get your ass removed. But y'all flood my comments. Do y'all think that Puff Daddy had anything to do with Kamora Lee's house being burnt down? Because he is in fear of what she might say about what was written in Kim Porter's book before Kim Porter came up missing. 250, capital G, Rooted in Music TV, I'm gone.